Hello everyone and welcome to Retro Dad and Modern Lad. Today we are going to be looking at more differences between the ROS demo and the retail Sega Saturn version of Tomb Raider. First up I have tested this wooden ramp in every region of Tomb Raider release for the Sega Saturn and in every version this ramp has no collision detection as you can see, you just walk straight through it. However, in ROS's demo, they have fixed the ramp and Lara can now walk up the ramp from any angle. A big thank you to ROS for their great work on the Tomb Raider mod. Also, I want to clarify that ROS is not one word like I pronounced in my last video, and it stands for Rings of Saturn. The ramp having collision detection also makes it easier to kill the T-Rex because when you stand on the platform at the top the T-Rex cannot sense you there. However because it cannot sense you are there it will often walk away so a good technique is to move on the ramp to draw the T-Rex close then hop back to be safe. Next up is the waterfall glitch which works on every region version for the Sega Saturn. I will just pause the video here on the retail version and point out that you can see through the waterfall and the rocks behind it, keep that in mind for when we see ROS's next. To perform the waterfall glitch when in the water going towards a waterfall just face away and keep swimming up using the A button. As long as you keep your finger on the A button she'll keep just going up and down dropping from the ceiling until you take your finger off it. Moving over to the ROS demo, we can see the waterfall glitches being fixed. I will again pause the video here. And notice the way the new texture is being added and you can no longer see through to the rocks. Lara just bangs her head on top of the waterfall and falls straight into the water. Next up, the retail Saturn versions have missing water sound effects. Notice the way there's no sound effect around this area. ROS has fixed this and we can now hear water and the closer you get to a waterfall the louder the sound gets. Here is another example in the main area of the level and again no water sound effects in the retail versions on the Sega Saturn. The ROS demo again has water sound effects. Next we are going to look at the splash effects in the retail Sega Saturn version. Notice the way they are very bold and when they appear behind Lara you cannot see Lara through them. On the ROS demo the waterfall splash has what appears to be a half transparent effect which gives them a lighter look and allows Lara to be seen through them. Back to the retail version and every region for the Sega Saturn has a water splash save bug if you save your progress here. Once you have done that go to your inventory and load up your saved data. For this demonstration I will cut out the loading screen and you will notice that the water splash effect has vanished. It's not just this waterfall either, if we go and look at other waterfalls close by they also have no splash effects because of this bug. Unlike the save bug on the PAL version where the cog reappears this waterfall splash bug was not fixed for the US and Japanese versions on the Sega Saturn. So here we can see there's no splash effect in this waterfall and we'll just move over to the other waterfall and again you can see there's no splash effect. And if we move over to the ROS demo we can see the splash effect and if again we save and then we go to the inventory and load our save data which is now called current position. Again I've edited out the loading screen, we can see that the waterfall splash bug has been fixed and we can still see splashing. Again let's go and check the waterfalls close by to check that they all still have their splash effects. 
I will be compiling a full list of differences in the description. If you notice any I have missed, be sure to let me know in the comments. So here's another waterfall and we can see the water splash effect is working. So let's go round to the other one. And if we can see past the plants, we can see that the water splash effect is still working. In my ROS demo Lost Valley playthrough, I said it used the newer tree textures from the Japanese US Saturn regions, as opposed to the bulky PAL version textures seen here, which have no individual shaped leaves and are just two joined rectangles with leaves on them. The ROS demo features the US Japanese Saturn version trees which have better updated shapes and textures as you can see above Laura's head here. Back to the PAL version from a better top down angle you can clearly see that it's two rectangles with leaves drawn on and you can see it creates a cross shape. Over to the updated trees where you can clearly see they've got defined individual shaped leaves and look much better. This was because the developers had more time to implement these than the rushed PAL version which come out first. Here we have another tree from the PAL version which looks more like the shape of a set of double doors as opposed to an actual tree. Whereas on the ROS demo, the same as the US and Japanese release Saturn versions, the tree has higher quality detail and you can also see the individual leaves as it looks more like a small tree. In the Sega Saturn retail version, Lara's air meter, which can be seen in the top left, is black where it has decreased and become void. This is also the same of Lara's health bar when out of water showing a solid black bar where the health is lost, with no scenery visible through this area. In ROS's demo, the part of the air meter which becomes void uses a different effect which allows you to see the background through it. This is the same with her health bar when out of water, as if you look closely you can see the white rock surface through it. For the last difference, let's go to the end of the level on the retail version and put the last of the three cogs in and go over and pull the lever down. On the retail version for the Seeker Saturn, you can then go over to the water, jump in and swim over and climb out and get the secret. However, this is not correct as you should not be able to swim close to the waterfall as it should push you back with the pressure. The correct way that you're actually meant to get the secret is if I just move over here and look up, you're actually meant to shimmy across using the ledge. On ROS's demo at the end of the level in the same position, if we put the last of the three cogs in and then move over and press the lever, we can then head over to the water and jump in and we'll be able to see that this has been fixed and you are no longer able to exit the water as the water pressure pushes you back and doesn't allow you anywhere near the ledge. You must therefore drop off the ledge and shimmy across to gain the secret. A big thank you to ROS Rings of Saturn, playing this demo has been one of my Sega Saturn highlights in the last few years and I hope they will continue to make Sega Saturn Tomb Raider mods as this one is absolutely brilliant. If you've liked this video please give it a like, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel, you'll notice when Lara gets in she gets pushed away with the pressure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, bye.